I mean, it's pretty much what we thought it was going to be. It was going to be a, a tight game, and I think I threw that score out, two to one, three to two, and uh, you know, to our players yesterday at practice, and it was more about you know we have to beat a good pitcher, we, we, but we got to remember we got to beat a good team, and it's it's not just about the pitchers. They've got good hitters and they play good defense and they know how to win and. Uh, you know they, you know they fought us, and uh, they, they had some good at bats, and, and Blaine battled them hard, and you know he was trying to get another out or two out of him, and uh, you know we couldn't we couldn't get another out there in the seventh, so we we just felt like we we had to go to Cronin. That's kind of been the formula on Fridays, and uh, you know was hoping that he'd only have to throw a couple innings, but he had to get eight outs instead, and uh, he did a tremendous job doing that. Blaine's ability to overcome some of the non calls there, because some of those at bats went. 10, 11 pitches. Yeah, I mean, he had, you know, they battled him. They, you know, I know the, the eight hole hitter had that one at bat. It seemed like he was up there for 12 pitches. I don't know how many. And had another, somebody else had another bat that was, you know, eight, nine, 10 pitches. And, you know, those are the kind of at bats that get pitchers out of games. And uh, Blaine hung in there and, and fought through and got some outs. And uh, pitch count got up. Uh, he had a couple of quick innings, but then, you know, we had a couple where he had really had to fight them. And, uh, you know, we, we we left him in by far as long as we were going to. That was just, whether he singled or got, you know, he, in his last hitter he faced singled or if he, even if he would got him out, that was it. And, uh, you know, just glad that uh, he had enough in him to get us, you know, I guess he got us, you know, through the, almost through the seventh. And, uh, you know, glad he picked up a W there. You had a pretty good view of body fields. Yeah, when he hit it, you know, it was an 0-2 count, was, and he was really just trying to go the other way. And, you know, we kind of know the field and the wind. It was kind of a strange wind, like north-northeast, cutting from one pole to the other. And, uh, you know, you weren't going to get anything to the left field or maybe left center. Um, but anything that was to, to right center and up in the air a little bit was going to go. And he hit it almost dead right. Um, Maybe a little towards the pole, and once it got up in the air, we we all knew it was going to go out of the park. Yeah, you, you guys are four and zero in SEC when Blaine starts. It's not a coincidence, obviously. Just how, how big has he been for you guys in the series opener? Well, he's been huge because you know anytime you can get off to a one and zero start on the weekend, you know you're you're pretty confident. But we've been there now. You know this is our fourth weekend in a row, and we've only won one series. So. You know, there's there's so much work to do, and that's what we talked about. That, you know, it's nice, but uh, the whole idea is to win at least two on the weekend, and and that's what we're shooting for at a minimum. What did what, you think of Mize? I thought he was outstanding, and I think he showed you why he was so good. Because anytime we got runners in scoring position, he got better. Uh, I mean, there in the in the eighth inning, he made some big time quality pitches to get out of that jam, and uh, there was one other time there that I felt like. You know, there, we had a runner at second, and it might have been the second inning he got out of that jam, and uh, yeah. just just did a tremendous job pitching. You know, throughout the game, I mean, he's really good. <coughs> Excuse me, I knew that was coming. What do you think of Fletcher's game, defense, offense? You know, Fletcher's play in right center, off the ball that uh, Josh Anthony hit when I left the bat, I thought we're down three to two. Uh, he he got an incredible jump, and you know he's he's not the fastest center fielder I've had here, but he's one of the most talented. Just if there's a chance it can be caught, he's going to catch it. And uh, he he it's almost like he took a step to his left before the before the contact was made, and he probably saw the swing or just saw that the ball was away and uh, started moving that way, and that ball took off. The wind pushed it. Uh, just what a what a game saving play. And he made a nice catch up against the wall too. Yeah, you know, and there's another ball that, you know, it looks like it's going to be a, a well hit fly ball, but it got pushed in there 20 25 feet. And uh, I mean, he caught the ball. I think he had it at the beginning of the track. Next thing you know, he's jumping up and 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 hitting his back on the fence. And uh, you know, another good play. Sometimes when that happens, you know, an outfielder can get caught in the wall a little bit, and they don't make the play. Um, but he did a he did a super job making that both of those plays. I think he kind of legged out and doubled. He did. You know, the right fielder was kind of playing him over in the alley, and uh, he hit that hard line drive semi ground ball 
past the first baseman and he never stopped and that ball was hit so hard it made it all the way to the fence on the ground for the most part and uh, end up being a, a big play because you know Grant end up you know battling Mize pitch for pitch it just you know fouling balls off he he got some good at bats and finally got that big hit that gave us the two to one lead. Hey, don't put that sneeze on there, okay, would you? <laughs>